Hey YouTube, this is Finger11, yo. Um, it's a quick video on a very important subject, RO and RODI units. Um, right here, this is my RO unit. Um, right now, the TDS is reading 35. Um, I know that didn't come out very well on the camera. Um, this is because the water is sitting still inside these, um, inside these pipes, so... When it's sitting still, it's giving an more of an inaccurate reading. Um, but the TDS right now, when it's flowing, it's normally zero. Um, every once in a while, it'll jump up to one or two, but for the most part, it stays at zero. Um, see right here, the pressure gauge is at zero. Um, that's because it's off. Because this is full and when this valve closes up um the pressure raises and it turns off the um the unit and it keeps it from um pushing too much water in uh i recommend having a tds meter the one i have is dual TDS meter. It measures the water going in as well as the water going out. And um, the water going in is at 135 and then the water going out is usually at zero as I said. Um, my unit is actually an RO unit. I recommend RO over RODI because if you forget to change out the filters or um, or if one filter goes bad in the DI section, then it can pump all the waste back into your RO water. So I stuck with RO and it's getting it down to zero TDS, so that's all that matters. Um, if we come over here, this is my 32 gallon brute container. Um, as you see, I have a valve here. I actually need some RO water right now, so. I will it up. and I'll fill it up with uh, however much I need. You look in here, full valve will go down. Um, water is flowing in now. Um, and then we'll go over to my pressure gauge. It's up at 38. TDS meter. Um, we'll be going down the TDS since the water is no longer stagnant. The TDS will go down to zero. Um, right now it's at 35 and it's going down. Um, basically, when you have the water just sitting inside these, um, I don't know what to call them, pipes, it basically um, increases the TDS because um, it will just give you an inaccurate reading. But it's already down to 14 and it's still decreasing. Um, here in a second, it will be at zero. Uh, I recommend setting up the RO unit this way. Um, I mean, RO units basically, you can go and get RO water at your local fish store, but if you need RO water bad and you don't, um, your local fish, say your local fish store is closed, it's a holiday, you need RO water, you have to do a water change. Um, hopefully that will never happen, um, but basically if it does happen, having an RO unit and having water ready is the safest option. Um, see here I have it stacked up on bricks just to make it high enough for the um, valve to be over, over a bucket. Um, I have this in my basement in case anything goes wrong. 
um, with the RO unit, say it gets clogged, a uh, pipe comes undone, um, and it starts leaking. This, this has happened to me before. It won't ruin your kitchen. Um, it'll be in the basement. I have a drain right there. I have drains throughout the whole basement, so it's really foolproof. TDS right now is down to three. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's still decreasing. Down to two now. Um, but basically this is the safest way. See, this is my 50 gallon per day unit. Um, and it's made by Coral Life. I got it for $180 new. And then I replaced all the filters. Or I got it for 150 I replaced all the filters and added a TDS meter and a pressure gauge and it came up to 180 and Then this fruit container was $25 and with the valves it was probably like $35. Um, basically this this unit alone could save your whole tank if it's if you have a tank disaster or whatever. I highly recommend using them. Just another quick thing, if you look up there, that's called a saddle valve. I had trouble figuring out how to get the get a line into my copper piping and you have to use what's called a saddle valve and basically it punctures the pipe and makes a hole for the um for the tubing. And that was hard to come across. So if you, if you have the same problem I do did then that's what it's called um yeah this finger 11 y'all yeah. i'm out